What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today you are joined back with your favorite cancer patient. And, you know, today I have a great video. One of those amazing cyberbullying videos have uh, been seen around. You know, came on my recommended list. So I thought, you know, I got criti uh, critical crippling depression. I think I need to see it. So, if you do like this video, it would be always appreciated if you leave a like. And, well, we're going to get straight into this video. Um, and I will be having new content out, hopefully, in the next few weeks. So, yeah. Um, like I said, if you like this video, you know, like, whatever. Fuck my life. I'm, I'm basically a fucking cancer patient at this time. Anyway, let's get straight into this video. A new virus, unlike any other, has infiltrated schools through social media. Oh my, oh fucking hell, a new virus, no, fuck. You don't have to get out of fucking that school. I mean, I mean, all schools actually, but fucking hell. New virus? What, what, what was this virus? But can I just say, the image on the fucking screen, the... What, 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 this is, the hate, like if you want a TBH. And then Jane Doe, okay, yeah. That's gonna mean something anyway. Then we're gonna see what it means, because... Fucking hell, this is fucking retarded already. You know, you know how it is. Fuck my life, you know, like I said, cancer patient, whatever. Anyway, carrying on with the video, we shall. A pandemic quickly spreading around the world. It's or- Fucking hell, do you hear that? A deadly pandemic? Fuck. <laughs> oh, that hurt. But fucking hell. And this girl really does hate her. Like, look, it says- Oh my god, to be honest, you're so, so annoying. Get a life, rate, double zero, like, that we're not friends anymore. This like, I have, that I have to sit next to you, beside you in class. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, yeah, this hate, you know, this is fucking cancer. This is just as cancerous as my life. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm actually, I don't care whoever watches this. If anyone from school watches this, if anyone in the fucking world watches this, if anyone in fucking family watches this, I'm going to fucking kill myself. I'm, I swear to fucking God. It's... It's fucking cancer! Well... What do you think? Girl drama. Like normal. Anyway, carrying on with the amazing quality of this video. Origin ...is yet to be known. However, individuals with a history of negative and violent home environments are often more susceptible to contraction. This girl has been infected. She is now host to the virus and risks spreading it to anyone. Every post the host makes and every text she sends exposes the virus to multiple people instantly. Does anyone actually get the feeling that Whenever you watch these videos, you feel fucking, you know, you fucking die. This fucking existence that brought you to this world, to this shithole of a planet, is tearing you inside. Just, to, to fucking, I don't even know what the word is now. Um, you know, fuck. I feel like I've got a fucking disease. I've, I, I've got Ebola, I've got fucking cancer, I've got crippling depression, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. And then, the ugliest pick. Okay, that, that's just, you know. <laughs> Round of applause. It, it, this, this is like so, so, so uh, or, uh, original, you know. <sighs> I think I've made my point now. <laughs> I've got no point. <laughs> oh my god, fucking hell. It is highly contagious and no one is immune. But some individuals may suffer more greatly from its side effects. The virus has chosen its victim. Alright, is it actually me? Or is this video trying to say that this virus is fucking cancer? You know, what you say, join the club, man, you know. 
I got cancer, you got cancer, it's all good, you know. I got a bit of a bowler as well. You wanna join in? Cool. Let's go. No, but seriously, fucking hell. It's like they are giving this off as the worst impression as possible to try and help people. But to be honest, it doesn't really help anyone. I I it's kinda obvious. They most of these don't even help. <laughs> Literally, all they do is make you feel bad if for what type of person you are. Feel bad for the person that they're living it on. But this is oh my fucking god! You know, I'm I'm gonna t uh, have much of a more of a rant about this later on. You know, let's just see how bad it gets from now on. <sighs> Carriers of the virus can be the least suspected of people and may even be unaware of their own infection. No one, not even this girl's parents and teachers, are aware that she is carrying such a deadly disease. Strains of this illness can be transferred by phone, email, and social media. Through wireless and satellite transmission, it can reach you at home, at school, or anywhere. The effects of the virus can take hours or days before getting out of control and causing serious damage to its victims. The virus feeds on those who are vulnerable to feeling emotions of hate. The, the virus feeds on uh, the people who are vulnerable to hate. I, I seriously get the impression that they are trying to make this look really, really good. And it, it's got high quality um, video, I guess, like 1080p, you guys, 1080p. It's not watermark 40, uh, 480p, which is the best, you know, watermark 480p, nothing can beat it. But the worst thing is, like, for a video that's probably made in 2015, 2014, they have a Windows Vista computer. I'll just let that sink in. I think it's a Windows Vista. But let it sink in how old that computer is. If I went to on the internet right now to show, go and check, it would probably be about five, uh, 10 years old or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember how old it is. But you, you get the picture. It's like fucking old. Why are they using it? Fucking hell. Anyway. I'm going to rant on a computer, aren't I now? Oh my god. What's new? <laughs> Carry on. Anger. Envy. Insecurity. And peer pressure. The effects have proven severe and could cause emotional scarring, creating long-term symptoms of depression and, in some cases, suicide. But there is a way to fight against it. So, um, I'm gonna just say this. Welcome to Just Chris's Guide to Not Being Bullied. First of all, you won't get messages saying, we have to stick up for Jane, or whatever the fuck your name is, from Courage. Okay, yes, I understand I'm probably going to go off a bit harsh on this, but I doubt anyone gets this fucking message. No one would get this message unless you you somehow have friends. Like, <laughs> I sound really harsh by saying that, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry I got mean by that, but seriously, they're coming off saying, we need to say stand up for Jane. She doesn't deserve to be treated this way. So that means that they're trying to say that people will do that for you when, well, you know, you're basically fucked. I mean, before it said, oh, you do suicide, uh, you commit suicide, you get out of it sometimes, but there's another way. Yeah, guys, that that's that's just such a bullshit. I'm I'm sorry, everybody. I just ruined everybody's day. Sorry if you're suicidal, like me. I'm suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking suicidal. Uh, yeah. <sighs> no, but seriously, if you have friends like this, then you, you've got amazing friends somehow. I don't know how the fuck you have friends like that if you're getting bullied by everybody. Anyway, carrying on.
Damn, those rhyming skills right there. Jane Doe is a ho. Damn, I think. I think. <coughs> Mr. Peer Pressure, or Miss Peer Pressure in this case, is onto something. I think this will be the next rapper. The next. Uh, fuck. The next Snoop Dogg is this. I don't care. What I just said was fucking wrong. <laughs> I just, I just, I just had to say something. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, the next Snoop Dog is peer pressure right here. I don't know. I'm gonna get her on a contract. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm not ending the video yet. We still got a minute going. Anyway, let's carry on with this video before I find another thing to jump at. You know, I hope I don't. Fight the virus. You can put a stop to it. In support of Pink Shirt Day, join the battle against bullying. Write in pink to prevent further outbreaks of this pandemic. Protect yourself and report cases of the cyberbullying virus. And that's basically the end of the fucking video. Welcome to the cancer region of YouTube, which is called Cyberbuddy in videos, you know. Just have to say it. Anyway, guys, I know this has been a kind of a fucked up video with more cyberbullying like normal. You know, gotta get a bit of a tasty cyberbullying. But at this rate, I think the 21st century is officially fucked, especially with Pupina Stewart, uh, which is from our third life, and Donald Trump at the same time. You know, I've been your host, Watermark 483. Watermark 480p, sorry. And I will see you in the next uh, video, guys. If you have liked this video, though, please uh, drop a like. It would be highly appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Kill it for a three out.